So whenever it's x to a power times cosine sine or e, those are the most common situations where you use tabular. You can probably use it in other situations, but I mean, it just doesn't come up that, that much to make much of a difference. So one of these factors is eventually zero after repeated differentiation. That's this one, right? So you write it down, and that's the one you're going to integrate. So you write it down. And then you just start taking derivatives, right? So the derivative, what's the derivative of x cubed? Would that be 3x squared? And if you do it again, what do you get? 6x, and then again, what do you get? And again, what do you get? And then you stop, right? You stop at zero. You can keep going forever, but then it won't help. <laughs> or you just get zero, 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 so. When you integrate cosine 2x, you just have to integrate cosine, and then you divide by two. I think we talked about this before. So let's see, this is tough. A function whose derivative is cosine would, would be sine? No, just sine, right? Just sine. Yeah, because we're integrating cosine, and then you divide by two. So you take this and just differentiate. Again, when you're integrating this, I, I picked a hard one on purpose. I shouldn't have done that, but it's too late. So integrating cosine, you get sine. When you integrate sine, you get negative cosine. Yes, Tony? Deriving the x cubed and integrating the yep. So you differentiate this one, integrate this one. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. So tabular, you pick one that you differentiate, and then you pick one that you integrate. Let's do it again. Integrating negative cosine is going to give us negative sine, right? Negative sine 2x. And this time it will be over what number? No, 8. Ah, I'm glad I asked, because we're multiplying. Right, no, it's good. But no, I forgot your name. What, Michelle, okay. I was going to say something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the, do it again. When you integrate negative sine, what's that going to give you? Positive cosine. Very good. Positive cosine. This time it'll be cosine 2x over what number this time? 16. 16. Very good. 16. 16. Let me, let me go over it again. It's, it's worth doing. This is very useful, right? This is extremely useful. We, we will use parts. There's, uh, there's one in the homework where you have to use parts, like tabular won't work, right? All right, so you pick the piece that after repeated differentiation is eventually zero, and then you just keep differentiating it. And then you pick the other piece, and then you just keep integrating it. And do you remember what symbol to start with? Is it a plus or a minus? Plus. plus. Yeah, this is the most. This is the fun part. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Well, the fun part is the next part. It's writing the answer down, and you can draw the. What do you draw? The, the arrows. Yeah, that's the for me. That's the, that's the boom the answer. Boom the answer. Boom the answer. I love that. It's like missiles. I don't know why I think that, but it's just, yeah. And then you just follow the arrows and multiply, and that's the answer. So we have to be very careful here, so so that we don't mess up. Uh, what a beautiful problem. And then you, you can do this in like two minutes. Like once you know how to do it, it's like boom, 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 you have the answer. This times this will be uh, one half x cubed sine 2x, sine 2x. I haven't made any mistakes this, this semester, so it's really good. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. It would be really nice if I could have a whole semester with even just one test. Like, no mistakes. Minus 3 fourths. Three fourths, three fourths. It's supposed to be a plus. Right? What, what, where? <gasps> no, 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 I didn't see it. Yes, because minus and minus is plus. Yeah. What'd you say, Tony? What was <laughs> Nothing. I can't believe that. that. That's ridiculous. Oh my God. Where's my, wa no, it's, no, it's just, what's, what's your name? Oh, oh, it was, oh, it was you, oh. Oh, Ryan. I was waiting for that. You were? I saw it. Is there another Ryan in here or no? Okay, just you. Okay, good. So I don't mess up and give it. Okay. So then wouldn't that make the, uh, the 6s also, x also a uh, minus? Yes. Yes, it would. Yes. Right. So this one would be a minus. Yes. Very good, Kyle. Right. So minus 6 eighths. Thank you, Ryan. No, it's good. It's good. Minus 6 eighths. 
I should just not say anything anymore. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Six eighths can be reduced to what? Three fourths, three fourths, falling apart here. Three fourths, three fourths, three fourths. And then the last one would be, would the last one be plus or minus? Minus, minus, uh, uh, three eighths, three eighths, cosine two x. What's missing in this problem? What do you have to add at the end? The plus C. Yeah, very good. Plus C. That would be, that would be the answer. I can't believe I messed up. <laughs>